It's a, how much did it help last season just getting a taste and you know a little bit of experience? Oh, it was unreal. I mean, I don't think the game the game experience is good, but I think being able to practice for a full fall was really crucial. Um, came in this spring with not only the experience in the game, but great experience for you know the prepar- how to prepare for every single practice and what to expect out of the defense in the practice. And I think that the pra- the practices in the fall that I got that I didn't get when I was hurt helped me the most. What's the biggest thing you learned last season? Uh, just watching from Kyle and learning how to play smart and do the right thing when you need to and not trying to make every play, just make the play that's called. What are you kind of zeroing in on things that you have to work on? Uh, just good footwork, uh, knowing the offense inside and out, knowing to put my eyes and just doing what they're asking me to do and taking it one play at a time instead of just trying to see the big outcome, just nice one little play at a time and do what coach asks. How much different has this spring been just given the injury you went through a couple of years ago? Right, well, I get to be in team every day, which last in the spring I only got seven on seven reps, so that was kind of hard standing around and practice most of the time when there's only one period of seven on seven. So it's really been good to be able to get some good team reps with people coming at you instead of just standing back there without a blitz. What was your reaction when you found out Kyle got the extra year? Uh, I was probably like the first guy to know. We were both in the training room at the same time, and uh, I went and gave him a big hug. and. You know, I told him, like, I wouldn't want it any other way because me and him are really close and we love being together. I mean, we hang out nonstop. And it was just kind of a sigh of relief for me because I knew that I had, you know, he's we're like each other's right-hand man when we you come to the sideline. You know, coach coaches, but then you always got to have somebody to turn to and we can have any conversation. And we always make each other laugh and smile when something's going bad for one or the other. How do you How balance that, that out? How much does that you being able to pick on his brain here during spring? Oh, it's great because, I mean, Kyle's intelligent and smart and knows everything, and he's got more games under his belt than I do. And, you know, we both know the same exact things, and we know we both know each other's strengths and weaknesses. So, like, we it's kind of funny that because we know each play what he's – I know what he's going to do, and he knows what I'm going to do. And, like, when we come off, we can just talk about it, and we know exactly, you know, how to communicate, and that's what's – that's my favorite part about practice is knowing that me and Kyle are on the same page no matter what. I mean, as good friends as you guys are, you're also battling for playing time. Right. What's that like, too? I think me and him don't even – we don't even think about that. We just go out to practice and, you know, try to complete as many balls as we can and do the, everything that the coach asked. And that's really all we go out there to do. Like, the battle is the last thing on, the, on our minds. Like, that's irrelevant to Kyle and I. Do you feel like you're in a – better position now for playing time than you were a season ago? Yeah, I mean, I think it's just because I can actually get team reps and have somebody coming at me and be able to move in the pocket, make a throw, or, you know, be able to check a blitz or something like that that I never got to do last spring, and it just gives me more experience for fall camp and for when the fall does come. Is it exciting, I guess, this season? Because, I mean, I got a match on last season, and almost, you know, you look at the depth chart and just knowing there are so many guys ahead of you, at least now, there's some light at the end of the tunnel almost. Right. Um, the depth chart really doesn't mean anything to me. Uh, every day I try to approach it as control what I can control, and that's all you can do because if you try to do too much, you're probably going to mess up trying to make a play that you shouldn't want to play, that you can't make. And then, But if you just can control what you can control every single play, then that's that's all I can control. What's the dynamic of having Coach Gordon in the room now and hearing his different voice? Um, it's he uses the same terminology Coach Hoff does. He didn't switch that up on us, which is nice because you know you're not learning any new terms. Um, he just got a good upbeat attitude, and he's just enjoyable to be around. When 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 Kyle's situation was in flux, you were probably penciled in as QB number one. Right. Uh, and then when he got the call, was as a competitor competitor, was there a sense of like now you got to wait a little bit more? Or, or I know you're friends with him, but there, was right. there a competitive side that said, "Man, I had that um, number one job." Or <laughs> Honestly, not really, because the way it was in, in the fall, the way that everything fell after the Texas game, mm-hmm. you know, the depth chart to me and Kyle has never been a problem or an issue, and we've never let that affect anything. We just go out there and be the best guys, best two guys on the field as we can to help our team every single day, yeah. whether it's me in the fall going twos versus ones, because that's the way it is, giving the defense the best look I could possibly give them with our offense, and then now just going out there and doing everything I can to be the best player I can.
What have you seen out of Rion Mitchell so far? Um, he's done great. Uh, you know, I was at his, I was in his shoes two springs ago as a freshman, and it isn't easy. Um, I think that he's got a, he's got a great head on his shoulders. He's also a lot of fun to be around. Uh, we all get along, cut up, and laugh. And I think that's what's kind of unique about us is n none of us take the depth chart like to heart or anything. We just do it w do what's asked and control us. And um, he's had, he's had some really great plays, and he's doing good. Race. You what? To beat him in a race? Oh no, he <laughs> that boy's got it now. I like to see him and Kane Kane race. That would be a good one. All right.